this. Welcome to the most flattering cinematic angle you've witnessed in movie theater history. So we got the surprise bunny. So at the bottom, there'll be a bunny. Pretty good. Love the bubble tea. However, this was the keychain in question, and at first, it was a bit of a jump scare. I was slightly surprised at this baby that looks like a DreamWorks villain, but I was gonna make it work. So I named her Stacy and put her on my lunchbox to ward off all the minor inconveniences. Good morning, sexy and senile. It is six in the a.m. That's right, 6 in the a.m. To be up at this hour, I feel like an old man named Kent who wears overpriced golf shorts in Florida. But you know what? I'm here now, baby. This morning, I did need to be up early. But why am I up early? The gym. It used to be a gym around his personality trait. And now I'm not so much that. But it's just more convenient for me to get this over with now than to be in the afternoon and feel like a limp chicken tender and try and go do all these machines. So I've only had one cup of coffee. Last time I like pre-gym talked, I said I would record if there's no one in the gym. There will be people there, so you're not gonna get anything. Again, telling not showing, one of my best traits. I don't know what type of sewage facility plant is happening behind where these bit of spots are. It smells like the set of the Captain Underpants movie every single time I park here. Coincidentally, it's also the best spot on campus. I've been okay, but now that it's starting to get hot out and it smells like the set of the summertime Captain Underpants movie, I don't think I can spiritually handle it. That's all. This is Tuesday, and you know what? I tried to film at school, but all I got was a sip of coffee and an existential crisis. I'm cuddling with my bodyguard, Hopkins. If you see this on my face, no, I'm not auditioning to be part of the Exorcist movie. I was trying to like, not dermaplaning, like TJ Maxx dermaplaning with those like single blade razors. Unbeknownst to me, I was performing Sweeney Todd on my forehead, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to talk about this movie, Love Hard. It's on Netflix, it's a Christmas rom-com. First of all, I really like Jimmy O. Yang as a comedian, so this was a like instant watch for me. But I'm so sick of these rom-coms where the whole point is that one of the characters is like not conventionally attractive and I put that in really loose air quotes because also look at the Duff movie. Like I would not describe Mae Whitman as any of those characteristics and they just cast her in that role and they were like, you're the dumb ugly fat friend. Like what the heck type of message does that send? Are we that superficial? This is just turning into a straight up movie rant on Love Hard. <laughs> I literally look so unpresentable and now is the time when my inner entertainer entrepreneurial spirit comes out. But I also have to say enough with the catfishing rom-coms. I have had it up to here with, oh, my name is Sally from Indiana and she's talking to Bustopher Jones from New York and then it turns out he's like Gustopher Jones from the local gas station. Had it up to here. Why don't we just meet people in real life? That's a thought. Everyone's like online dating is the only way. When have you met someone off the internet that was worth more than two seconds of time? And I know I'm saying this as I'm going to upload it to YouTube, but whatever. Second of all, they just have this heartfelt scene in the car and he's like, what are my good qualities, baby? And she's like, you have very good eyes. And then she says, promise me when this is over, you'll use honest profile pictures. And I'm like, why? Why are we going back onto online dating? Like, he's a good person is gonna show through those pictures, sweetheart. Nobody is that visually inclined that they can <laughs> judge a character based off of those parameters. I hate to be that person, but I just love this romper so much. So this is painful, I know, but it's a fit check. And you know what? This is my channel. Yes. 
I know I'm recording this like a mom who live streams on Facebook. It's a very sunny day. It's a very windy day. I feel a shiver all the way down in my tibia. But I am here to mourn the loss of Stacy, who was part of my world for a whopping two weeks. Stacy started off being the most disappointing keychain I have ever received in my life, uh, but quickly she became the guardian to my lunchbox where she resided to ward off evil spirits or merely people who are inconveniencing my day. Stacy, about five minutes ago, fell off of her keychain. I don't know how to get her back on, and I'm gonna try, but I just wanna take a moment for Stacy to remember and to cherish. Six in the AM. All right, like this is my before school fit. Um, just checking my email. And I commented on a Reddit post where they said Barry Keegan was going to be playing Billy the Kid because, as I've said before, I am a Barry Keegan stan, Irish pride. And so I commented, I love him in all caps, not romantically. Okay, the man is probably 30, and I'm not trying to be a baby with a senior citizen, but love him as an actor. And someone comments in all caps, I hate him. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Get out of my sparkle. To provide a quick update on my Reddit drama, I pretty much did not engage with this Bustopher Jones because I knew he was just looking for a problem. He was wanting to complain to the customer service. And other people were already getting at his two pasta. But then, I think I agreed with somebody else, or I said, yeah. And he responded to me again. He said, gross. You know who's gross? You, Bust for Jones. I went and I looked at this man's Reddit, and all he does is complain. So, Bust for Jones of the week is Mr. Sir, who decided to get salty with me on Reddit because I am a Barry Keegan fan. Bye, Bustifer, Disgustifer, Gustifer Jones. This episode's for you.